Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Let's take a look at creating the inside of the mouth here. The way I usually do this is begin with this edge of the mouth right here. And what I do is extrude back and scale up and out and then keep extruding back down the throat, just to about midway down the throat. Um, and that's what I call the mouth sack. So let's work on that. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm first going to go to my uh, character modeling screen layout that I created some time ago. And um, I think I want to go to the side view over here so we can see this a little better. So I'm going to press the E key and just move this back just a little. Just keep it right in line here. And then extrude again. And now as I pull back a little, I'll also scale up some as well as pull out a bit. And I think just I'm going to begin flattening these up a little bit in the y-axis here. And maybe even begin pulling some points around here. If you don't fix things right up front as you're going, they can, um, or extruding, can really just compound the problem as you go. So I'll just fix these now. Okay, let's keep going. So another extrusion here, and I'm going to scale up a bit, and maybe even scale out a bit as well. Just a little, and also move that out some. And then I'm going to scale again and flatten just a bit in the y-axis here. And I think I'm ready to extrude again. So extrude out, and same thing applies. I'm going to scale up a bit, flatten just a bit and do some point pulling over here in the front view. All right, and let's keep on moving here. So I think now this is gonna be kind of the peak of the size of the, of the mouth right around here. And then I'll begin um, scaling it back down as I move toward the throat here. So that's, so I think I'll scale it up just a bit here. Get this a little more in line. All right, so as I begin scaling back now, I'm gonna begin scaling down some. So scaling down as I move back toward the neck. Lining everything up here. And here's where I'll begin curving it. So I'm going to rotate it just a bit here and extrude down a hair, rotate again, maybe move in and extrude again to turn it down the neck like that. All right, so the tongue is going to extrude out of the bottom here say maybe out of these faces here, we'll extrude the tongue up and forward along here. So for that, I'm gonna to go to face mode and I'm gonna select these four faces that I have down here on the bottom. And I'm gonna hit extrude and pull that up just a bit. I can flatten this out a little, maybe even scale it in some. Okay, so let's extrude again. And this time I'm going to move it forward and rotate it a bit. Like so. And maybe give it a little more thickness here. And then extrude one more time. Now for this one I'm really going to need to scale it down quite a bit. Move it in some. And then I think I'll do a little bit of adjusting here. I think this can come down some and just kind of 
move it around to get the right shape that you want. I think I'm going to go back to my default screen layout and go to wireframe just to try and work on this. So I'm just going to do some point pulling to try and get the shape the way I want. So this is the shape I've kind of come up with for the tongue. And the last thing I need to do for this part is just to check the the lips and make sure that they're not um, horribly skinny, <laughs> just like this. They can get horribly skinny if you're not careful here. So I'm going to take these, that, select that edge in back there and kind of move it out and do the same with this. Just kind of give some th uh, thickness to the lips there. And lastly, I think I'll just uh, select this tongue and move it down just a bit. I think it's up a little too high. So just select this piece and move it down some. And there we go. Now we have the mouth and the tongue. The next thing we're going to work on is the teeth. See you then.